Reading can move you, enlighten you. I read literature at a time as literature with a branded fist, as a political weapon. I looked at the content and it was only later that I discovered that literature in itself is pleasure. I uh, had a career in what we call development cooperation. I started that in the late 60s and after about five years working in African countries, I got involved in the, a program where uh, persecuted writers are being given refuge in cities in Germany and Frankfurt was one of the first cities uh, to uh, set up this program, uh, Cities of Refuge, what is called here Cities of Asylum. I was involved right from the beginning. It, uh, the first organization was called International Parliament of Writers. In 2006, then we came together and established ICORD, International Cities of Refuge Network. The idea was to convince cities, not governments, cities, uh, to give refuge to persecuted writers. Give a space for creativity and writing and working, which at home, in their own countries, couldn't do. I read mostly novels. Of course, I read non-fiction also because of my interest in certain areas of the world, especially Southern Africa. I remember a Moroccan poet at one time told me, you Europeans, you are doing everything to kill poetry. I wanted to prove to him that I was not killing poetry. So I read poetry and I edited anthologies. At that time we were yeah, just 15 cities. And now we are way over 50. After 10 years we have made a special effort to uh, recruit new cities. And the funny thing about being in Pittsburgh is that Henry Rees was there at the founding situation of ICORN. He, he was doing what we should all be doing, that is giving shelter and encouraging creativity, creating a space for art in all different forms. So we worked hard to convince Henry Rees of Pittsburgh to become also a member of our International Cities of Refuge network. My main message is that it is not only that you are doing good for somebody, but that you, by having an artist, a writer in your city, you are doing something good for your own city, for the people in the city, you are enriching yourself.